These are Satan's chief minions. There's a principality over Toronto, and there's definitely a principality over Rexford. Definitely. And it is in charge of every wicked thing that takes place in this region, in its country. Everything that takes place underneath its power, it comes under this prince of power. And this prince of power, he only takes orders from Satan. There's no schism with this. You see, Satan and his angels are bound to the abyss, and they know that his future is short. The time that he has is so short. Second thing that you need to understand about power. I'm not going to try to impress you with my Greek and stuff, but it, it, it's, it's exuding. It means power. And it's powerful. And it means authority. Satan, demons, his angels function with complete authority. When they go to tempt you, when they go to deceive you, they're not going half hearted. They're going with both guns caught, blazing after you and your family. But can you recognize, church, what do these look like? The music that you're listening to. The television programs that you watch. What message about God is it portraying? How does it edify you? Does it make you want to worship God? Does it make you want to do something? Many of us are just not seeing the ones particular for this evening. And these rulers of darkness of the sage. The ones who actually rule in the heavens. The things that we cannot see in spirit. When we feel the outcome. It's interesting about the words spiritual hopes, wickedness. It should probably be better translated this, spirit forces of wickedness, refer to Satan and his angels. These are the individuals who reside in the heavens and who directly influence you and I on a daily basis. They bombard us, our thoughts, they tempt our flesh, they put pressure upon us so we can doubt, so we can no longer trust God. They're always engaging us into battle. Always engaging us to doubt God, to reject God, to say, you know, God is not true, He's a liar. It's always the first thing that you guys to understand is this. Understand, in order for us to have success over these supernatural beings, is that our power and authority comes from God. That's where it comes from. If today you are not walking with me, if today you do not have an intimate relationship with God, you are at risk. You have to be in your Bible. You have to be praying, seeking God's faith. It's no longer an option. Too many people are being deceived. We have ministered that shepherd thousands of people that are turning away from the gospel. I've a man this past week, Bishop Colton Pearson, said, when I was preaching, I'm quoting, when I was preaching this gospel, I had so many people. But as soon as I started to preach this new gospel, I'm reaching the Jew. I'm reaching the Muslim. I'm reaching all these others. And at first glance, you think, well, that's a good idea. Yeah. We're supposed to be reaching all kinds of people. Yeah. But at what cost? At what cost are we willing to compromise? At what cost are we willing to turn our back? And if you don't know the word, you may say, you know, I'm just going to compromise my walk. I know my friends know that I'm a Christian, but it, it's okay if I get involved in this kind of behavior. And I'm speaking to directly to everyone here. God wants us to be holy. He demands us to be holy. We can't compromise. Are you here?
here? It's a war out there. Thursday to Coach Wayne. This weekend I'm going to spend uh, the weekend at my girlfriend's house. 